Ahoy, mateys! So I thought I'm gonna film a day in my life of my first ever Cambridge exam season. Currently, I'm actually almost done with my first year Cambridge exams. I have just one last paper tomorrow, my earth sciences paper. And it is actually a 24 hour paper. Well, no, actually, we have 24 hours to submit the paper, but they recommend us to do um, just use three hours. So it's a bit, it's a bit iffy, not gonna lie. It's a bit of a weird instruction to give, but essentially I have 1 p.m. from tomorrow to 1 p.m. day after tomorrow to do the paper and submit it. Okay, so it's about 10.45 right now, the previous night of my um, last exam paper. And I'm just gonna make my overnight oats right now. It's something that I started doing recently. And I think it's just a very easy way to prep for tomorrow morning's breakfast because I don't want to spend time tomorrow morning making my breakfast. It's just a very convenient way for me to have some things under control and to not have to worry about um, what I'm gonna have for breakfast tomorrow morning. So I like to keep it um, ready tonight. Usually my exams have been starting at 11.30 in the morning, which is a bit of an awkward timing in terms of like, how to have meals and things like that so i used to have extra overnight oats to have a more heavy um breakfast and then make lunch like prior to the exam and have lunch right after the exam i've been meal prepping a bit very basic <laughs> meal prepping so i can have at least my meal right on time as so i don't be hungry during the exam so yeah i made some upma today which is an indian dish which I think will last me for lunch tomorrow as well. So that's the plan. So I made some extra today so I can have that tomorrow right after my exam. Though most of my exams have been starting at 11.30, my earth sciences exam tomorrow starts only at 1. And since it's a 24-hour 24, 24 exam, I guess it, like I can technically just eat whenever I want. But just in case, I'm just keeping it ready. So I had a rest day today before. So I have my evolution paper yesterday, a rest day today, and then my earth science paper tomorrow. And I actually had a really nice day. It was really sunny. Oh, that's a bit too much. It was really sunny and hot today. And I kind of just chilled the entire morning. And then I went to see a friend because it was her birthday yesterday. And we just, we just like chilled in town and we did like a bit of thrift shopping and just hung out together and really felt like we were done with exams but we're not i guess i'm not that stressed because it's a 24 hour paper so like i can see the questions tomorrow and then like work on it for 24 hours i don't know i hope i'm not jinxing it like i hope it goes fine tomorrow but again since it starts at one i have the entire morning tomorrow till one so i want to sleep by 11 and then i can study tomorrow morning to my exam so Confession, I didn't study at all today for my exam um, because I have this sense of security that I will be fine because it is a long paper and there's no like time limit plus it's open book. So my overnight oats is done and I put it into the fridge. Now it's time to go do my night routine and just sleep. <laughs> my friend came to visit me at night to send me some good vibes for his exam. Thank you, Nips. <laughs> good night. Morning. It is about 8 p.m. and I did end up sleeping in a bit because I was so tired from yesterday. Time to start the day. My last first year exam. <laughs> I'm done with my morning yoga and I'm feeling very fresh. I just caught up on all the important messages on my phone. Now I'm gonna get a glass full of hot water. The only thing I'm gonna be chugging today. I love starting my um, day with a glass full of warm water. It really just kind of wakes up my inner body. I then have some more um, boiling water to which I add um, ginger powder and coriander seed powder. And this is my morning drink. And this is around the time I call my mom to talk to her. So let's go talk to my mom. Hi, Choti. <laughs> Good luck for your exam. Today's your last exam. After this, you'll be really enjoying a three months break <laughs> from the college. Thank you, mommy. I'm now going down. This morning, my friends needs um, 
some help with working the printer. I put a helper now. Something very exciting seems to be going on. Looks like college is planning something for us. <laughs> what are you laughing at me? <laughs> My milk has spilled in the fridge. Actually, I don't even know if this is my milk, but I really like this my milk. It's a bit disgusting. Anyway, fun fact, this was my quarantine fridge that was in my room. And we're always like short on fridge space in our kitchen. So I just kind of like sneakily got it to the kitchen and just held on to it and never returned it to the college. But I mean, I did check with the cleaner and she said she would check if that's all right and she hasn't told me to do, like give it back so i assume it's fine if i just leave it in the kitchen the oats from last night i have been generous with my sprinkle of nuts plus i've added some peanut butter in warmed it up because it is a very strangely cloudy and chilly morning it's so weird because it's been sunny for like the past week but yeah i was craving a warm breakfast and some days i actually like to take my breakfast back to my room and like watch a few youtube videos in the morning but these days I'm trying to consciously make an effort to just um, eat while I eat and not do anything else. And especially on exam mornings, I like to just sit here and have my breakfast slowly and just watch the view out of this window because it's just so beautiful and I feel like it really just clears my mind and makes me feel calm. This is the point at which it seems like I'm making my bed, but actually I'm just jumping in for a power nap. <laughs> the overview of my exam table arrangement. I have some blank sheets, um, pencils, and a pen for essay planning. My calculator, the clock, so I can keep track of time. I have my laptop here, and this is the page of um, where we can access our assessment. So it's available from 1 p.m., so I have about 15 minutes to go. Blank um, Word document for me to type out my answers. And these are just all my snacks, because I prefer to eat something during the exam. So I just um, dip some of these into the little box here so it's gonna stuff my face with raisins or like some trail mix or like panic it in midway through the exam and these are some of my notes and diagrams that um, are going to be helpful when i write my answers i also have my blind grading number right in front of me there because for one of my exams i wrote my blind grading number wrong and that caused me quite a lot of unnecessary stress so i've just kept it there big and bold it's now time to put up this sign on my door one minute to go I'm opening it right now. Okay, there's a 750 word limit for each question. I'm just reading all the instructions right now. Okay, the first question is always a calculation question and it's too long, so I'm gonna save it for later. I'm just gonna go straight to the essays. Damn it. There are no volcano questions, which is what I really like answering. These are pretty tricky questions, not gonna lie. <sighs> okay, that's pretty okay actually. So out of nine questions, I think I can answer at least six questions and we only have to do four questions. <sighs> okay, I think it's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna get started on my essays ASAP. I'm feeling really hungry, so I think I'm gonna go on a lunch break. I am making pretty decent progress with one of the questions. So I think it's going good till now. Although I feel like I need to pick up pace because I'm gonna be sitting here for a long time if I don't. Yummy upma. So almost 3 p.m. and I am done one essay question. I still have three more to go and I really need to pick up pace because I can feel my eyes getting fried and yeah, I don't think it's too sustainable <clears throat> going at this pace. So it's 5 p.m. and I sort of finished two essays. I still have two more essays and one calculation question. By um 4.30, I was so dead and then I looked at the time and I realized it's been three hours, three and a half hours since I began and maybe that is the limit of my concentration or like attention span 
yeah that's exhausting mentally so i went on a break had some mangoes with a friend and i feel much better now i'm gonna continue soon i also just chatted with a senior from my household who has been giving like all 24 hour exams so she was like motivating me and like reminding me to have breaks in between and i was like yes thank you and here we go again essay number three is done i'm quite satisfied with this essay out of the three i've done right now two are pretty satisfactory one is a bit mm. i'm gonna stop for dinner now it's currently 8 p.m my friends are coming over so we're gonna have dinner together and then maybe i'll try doing one more essay before i sleep i'm just so sad there's no volcano question like there's volcano question every single year and it's like my favorite question to answer <laughs> there's none this year <laughs> it's quite sad i'm really struggling to pick which last essay to do because i'm like equally not confident with any of the remaining questions <laughs> anyway i have no idea how you're supposed to finish this week in three hours it's a bit insane it's officially seven hours since i started with like maybe a breaks that lasted together one and a half hours two hours but still <laughs> deflates when he breathes out oh. <laughs> 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 it was a really nice dinner and break with my friends <laughs> we were just talking about absolute shit and just kind of laughed out loud for a while it's almost 9.30 now and I really want to try and finish my paper by tonight let's see how that goes starting essay number four i'm suddenly feeling really tired so i think i'm gonna start the calculation question now and then maybe do the essay question tomorrow morning i'm so tired it's nearly 12 a.m and i'm not done with the calculation question i got stuck in quite a few places my brain is kind of not working now so i think i will have to head to bed and then continue tomorrow morning <laughs> I really want to complete at least calculation question by tonight. There's no point just staring at the question for so long. I think I'm gonna sleep it off and then come back to it with a fresh mind. So I'm gonna go to bed now, wake up early tomorrow, finish the calculation question, check my three essays, and finish my last essay. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. I have to write my last essay and complete my paper. My last essay is done! At this point, I still had to do the final checks for my essays and complete the calculation question, but my brain was feeling so tired and I was really wanting to play squash with my friend. So I went on a one hour squash break, which was really fun. If you're wondering why we're using a tennis ball, it's because we could not find a squash ball and it was quite an interesting eventful morning. I think I'm more or less done. It's about 11.15 and I'm just doing a final check through all my essays and making the final few changes. Oh my god. Just submitted all of my answers. Not gonna lie, like it was a bit stressful last minute. I literally got so scared because one of my files was not opening on Word and I was so scared like it got corrupted or I deleted it or something and I was like really scared just crossing my fingers and then like i quit word and then open it again and thank god it opened i think i did well on two of the essays the other two were kind of meh calculation question was also okay-ish but i am done <laughs> with my first year of cambridge natsuki <laughs> kind of surreal right now oh my god 
so excited because earth sciences i'm continuing next year as well and like i liked writing these answers they are not the best answers i could have written for exam but i enjoyed studying for it and i'm excited to continue i am leaving to norwich with my friends soon so i'm gonna quickly go and get ready for that and celebrate i don't know why i keep forgetting to film outros to my video so as usual it's another awkward the ending video but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a really long time since I posted. It's just been a very busy term back in Cambridge. But I'm really, really glad the term is over now. And I have lots of footage that I want to edit and post this summer. So stay tuned for that. My final opinion on 24-hour exams is that on one hand, it is much longer than obviously any other exam that I've written before. And it sounds a bit weird to say that it was more stressful. And I guess that's because I was constantly thinking about the questions and my answers. And even if I wasn't confident about a few of my answers, I would have to constantly reread them. And it, yeah, that wasn't really too pleasant because you're just left with your work for way too long. But it was nice not to have the time pressure that usual shorter exams um, have so that was I guess less stressful and gave me more time to work on answers that the ones I did do well I was quite proud of. Would I want to do a 24 hour exam again anytime soon? Nope. Not like it is in my control anyway. <laughs> but yeah I guess it's just an experience and I'm glad I got to experience at least one 24 hour exam in my life. So yeah please do like comment down below and subscribe because that's how we all can stay together and stay connected and keep interacting with each other so i will see you very soon take care um stay safe and bye